Alyssa. Um, I'm going to be sharing with you guys today some beauty hacks on hair. I have very little hair. I was not blessed with that beautiful thick hair that some of you ladies have. And you kind of really want to have sort of a thicker appearance, which um, what is that? That's, that's what we all want, right? But we don't want to spend a ton of money on extensions. I just don't have the money to for the upkeep as well. Even if I did go get tapins or the beads, any of those extensions, either way, at some point you have you have to constantly keep. You don't want to pull even more out. And I don't care what they say, it comes out. Okay, some comes out and you don't want to lose your hair, especially as you are maturing and getting older. Um, you wanna kind of retain your hair as much as possible, okay? So I'm gonna show you how to use the One Step Revlon hair dryer. It's a volumizing hair dryer. It's amazing. So I'm gonna show you how I do it. So give me a sec, I'm going to um, wet my hair. So I went ahead and I wet my hair again. Um, I already washed it this morning, so I did not rewash it, I just wet it. Um, now, at this point, once I get it all brushed out with my wet brush, okay? So I'll link it down below. If you do not have a wet brush, you really should get one. It's very easy to just um, brush your hair out. Um, and that way you don't pull out any of your hair. Nope, okay? So at this point, what I would do is I would Put my volumizing mousse in okay now i like the argon oil of morocco volumizing mousse okay another thing that you might want to use which you should probably is a heat protectant okay and i'll i'll link that down below what i use so okay so i've got my one step I put my product in my hair. I sprayed my heat protectant. I didn't really get my heat protectant up here. I just kind of like sprayed it from here down. And of course I put my volumizing mousse in my roots and then I just kind of shook it all out through my, shook it, shook it, I shucked it. I shucked my corn, no. <laughs> I just did a little of this, okay? And got it through my hair and got it all the way to the ends, okay? Now, here's what I don't want you to do. I don't want you to just go straight into it and like, don't do this. Just don't go straight into it and start doing this. The first thing I want you guys to do is just flip your hair. Okay, I'm gonna do it, but I wanna just tell you, you're gonna flip your hair and I don't even want you to touch the ends, okay? You're gonna flip your hair like this and you're just gonna kind of start brushing like this without getting all the way to the end, like this. You wanna just kind of like this, 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 and just kind of dry it that way first, but upside down. We're gonna do it. Okay, here we go. Uh, I just videoed and um, the video turned off. So I'm going to show you right now. I did a little bit of it though already. <laughs> okay, hold on. Flip your head. What? Okay, hold on. Now, we're gonna do a little bit more. I'm going to watch what I do. So I, unfortunately, like, it got a little bit dry because I was literally videoing to nobody, okay? And then I put it back on, but whatever. Okay, so you get the point, okay? So you're gonna just, boom, boom. I'm not going all the way down to the ends like that. Don't do that. It's gonna look really, like, too thin, okay? Now, what I'm gonna do now is watch how I pull up like little pieces and I'm gonna do like little chunks, but still upside down, okay? So here I go. Okay, I did that. Now, I'm gonna do a little bit like from, like my, kind of like by my face, watch.
Okay, now I'm gonna finish the rest this way. So now you see it's really starting to get volumized now. It's a, just a totally different, it's a game changer. Like you've gotta kind of start upside down like that. Okay, now I'm just gonna take chunks like this and go under, kind of get at the root, and then, but I'm still not gonna go like this. Now, if you want a super string, straight, pin straight look, go ahead, but that's not what I'm doing, okay? We want it to look kind of fluffy, so let's keep going. Watch me. Just watch what I did to get like all this volume and I'm not even done yet so keep watching okay so just section Do the other side now. Do a little bit up here at the, the crown area like right up here and just kind of get a little more volume up here so let's see if i can get this So, all right, I'm not done yet. I'm still gonna do a little bit more, but I'm just gonna kind of make sure I get every little piece. But can you see how my hair just like, it's really quite an incredible tool. Like let's, come on, it's amazing. Okay, so this is so good. Now, let me just finish it off. looks nice I'm gonna finish up off camera and get it completely dry like up here but I want you to notice how hopefully you noticed how when I was blow drying I was not I almost like towards the end you're just haphazardly just kind of like flipping it go flipping it go back and forth back and forth get all that volume in there it does it doesn't have to be perfect okay you don't have to sit there and basically like you know every piece perfect it's unnecessary okay you just actually the more haphazard you are just kind of flipping it back and forth and getting it in the root and flipping it is the better your hair is going to look and for the longer amount of time my hair will last like this a couple days with this a little dry shampoo the next day or when i go to before i actually use dry shampoo before i go to sleep and i wake up and it looks just as good okay so i'm going to finish it and then i'm going to um 
just do a little spray and we're gonna finish it off. Okay guys, this is it. So this is my final result and it's nice and fluffy, nice and swingy. Doesn't look like I have thin, lifeless hair. I'm loving it. It's so easy, you guys. It's like so easy and you will always have good hair. It's gonna last you a couple days too. So you do not have to wash your hair um, every single day. I would not recommend that. That's not good for your hair anyhow. So all I do is before I go to bed, I take my, I just use Batiste. I mean, this is this it's it's better. I think it's as good as or better than most all other dry shampoos. And I just basically flip my hair and I give it a little spray and I kind of lift it up and give it a little spray. And then um, I go to sleep and I brush it out a little bit. And then when you wake up in the morning, you do not have um, like all that white gunk in your hair. Because sometimes if you use dry shampoo in the morning, then it will kind of leave this residue. But if you do it at night, you wake up, there's no residue, and your, your blowout's gonna last you. So check it out, and I'll see you guys soon.